A new season of Bachelor in Paradise is on its way. The cast was just released. I tried to stay away from it because I did not want to have like any spoilers because I haven't um, seen it and I just have not been able to do a review about it yet. But now that we're here, I want to discuss it. I already know that Eric Bigger is going to be on this season, which I'm so happy about. Y'all know I was praying for my baby to get back on TV because I just feel like if y'all not going to make him The Bachelor, let's help him find love or at least get you know, put on in this bachelor community like, like everybody else is. You know what I mean? Like, can we be real? There are people who are on this show like Colton <clears throat> and Tia, let's talk about it, who are here just to get a coin and a, and a come up. I'm not hating on that. If this is your commercial, you're going to use this time, especially on reality TV. I say it all the time. If you're going to go on reality TV and bear your soul, you better get something from it. So I would like to see more of Miracle Season. And hopefully somewhere down the line, we can get him as The Bachelor. If y'all pulled Aerie from 1990, Y'all could pull uh, Eric Bigger from 2017. It's okay. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about it. I want to know who do you agree or disagree with on this season? Like who do you think should be on and who do you think to like get the boot? Who do you think is going to have a love connection? And who do you think? is going to be the breakout enemy this season, like Dean. So like, who do you think is just gonna cause all the friction? Going into this, it might be Jordan, but I don't know who's all on the show. So let's get into it. First up, we have Angela Amezukua. Uh, she was on Nick's season. I don't, she looks familiar. I, I didn't see all of Nick's season, so I'm not sure about her. Did she make a good impression enough to be on Paradise? I don't know. Um, Annalise Puccini of The Bachelor season 22. She was on Ari season. Um, I don't remember uh, Annalise uh, from Ari season. And that's so sad because it just happened. I don't, wait, is this, wait a minute. Is Annalise the girl who was always having like a childhood traumatic was she the one who was just like, I can't do the cars because I had a traumatic experience on a bumper cars? Is this the girl? If that's her, I'm excited about it because she's going to be a hot mess. Um, Astrid Locke. I have no idea. Nick season. Beautiful girl, but I don't know. Let me know if she, you know, let me know about her. If y'all have any tea on her. Bibiana. <laughs> okay. Bibiana, at this point, you starting to become a, a bachelor hoe. Okay. <laughs> No tea, no shade. Not home with that you, you, you know, you home with the dudes. I'm just saying, you, you got to give us a break. Let us miss you. She's just on every show. She's on Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, Bachelor Win the Games, Bachelor in Space. It's too much. It's too, give us a break. After this, sis, take a break. Maybe you know, go get on of other reality TV shows and then come back. But right now, we need a break from you in the Bachelor Nation. Chelsea, I think Chelsea should be on here. I think that she is going to find the real deal. I don't know if it's going to be on this season of Bachelor in Paradise, but I feel like Chelsea is here for something more because she's a mom. You know what I mean? I feel like moms really want a partner. You don't have time, especially when you're raising a kid, to be like chasing these guys trying to figure this stuff out. And I also think that she's here for the cameras, but I think that it's twofold for her. She is looking for a partner, but she's also trying to get, you know, her second wind of fame um, on this season and really use it as a come up for her in Bachelor Nation. And, you know, be mainly because she's a mama, I'm okay with her getting these coins. She didn't really annoy me on Ari season. But a lot of y'all were sick of her. So we will see how she, you know, portrays herself on this season of Bachelor in Paradise. But I'm excited to see her. I like her. David is on this season, snitching, gossiping David. I hope this time that he is focused on the women he's interested in or the woman he's interested in and not, you know, just being a petty gossip because you're going to be friend zone real quick. And these women watch the show. So I, I don't know. I think that David might go home on the first night because if the women are watching Becca's season and they're seeing how David is stressing her out, I don't think that's going to be a turn on for them. So he might be voted out early. Eric Vigor, Miracle Season is on. And I really hope that he finds somebody. I'm not saying he's looking for a wife. I don't feel like Eric is ready. But I want him to find a partner. I really, really do. I think he is available now to really receive, you know, the kind of love that he deserves. He really, really does. But I just think on Rachel Season, he wasn't ready. 
And I felt like he was getting there, but Rachel was so far ahead of him with where she wanted to be. I think that he has everything together now, especially since he's making money with Miracle Season and really doing well financially. I think that now he might be in a better place to really be able to accept a mate in his life. Grocery store Joe, he's on. He's a cutie. I'm happy for him. I don't know if he's gonna be like the breakout stud because you guys are so happy. Bachelor Nation is so happy that Grocery Store Joe is gonna be on Bachelor in Paradise. Even though a majority of you guys are rooting for him to be the Bachelor and I was just like, no. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see Grocery Store Joe being a Bachelor. Let's be real, the Bachelor has to be somebody that we all want. And only a certain demographic want Grocery Store Joe. <laughs> He cute, but not everybody can take that Chicago accent. That Chicago Italian American accent. That's not for everybody. I'm glad to see him on Paradise. I'm hoping that he can find, you know, a little love connection. But I couldn't take a whole season of him. Sorry. <laughs> not just focus on him as the bad. Nah. Mm-mm. 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 <gasps> Venmo billion. Let me tell you something. If I could get on The Bachelor in Paradise, I sure would right now. Venmo, John is on The Bachelor in Paradise. Ladies, ladies, listen. Get information. One of you heifers better leave with John. If y'all not leaving with John, y'all not doing something right. I'm telling you. John better leave with one of you broads on his arm. Like, forget, forget, forget all them other dudes. The guy who created Venmo is here. Child, that is a sure foundation. Invest, ladies, invest. Jordan, who's probably just going to be comedic and messy, but I do think that he will find somebody to hook up with, but I don't think that he'll find like a partner. If he does, it'll be shocking and good TV. Kendall is on. I'm happy for her. Oh, I just thought about Kendall and John becoming an item. I think that she will be a good supportive wife who is not somebody chasing this like bachelor nation fame. And I don't think that John is either. So I don't know. I just, I, when, I, when I saw her, I just immediately thought of him. Hmm, what do you guys think? Is that a little good coupling? I'll talk about more couples at the end, but I just, when I saw Kendall, I was like, John, John, we'll see Kenny. Listen, I'm happy with Kenny being on this season of Bachelor in Paradise. Oh my goodness, I have a video of him. If I can find it, I will put it in this video. But there is a video. Listen, I was watching TV. I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes I just turn on the TV so I can go to sleep. If I like, if I'm having a hard time going to sleep, I either turn on the TV or I'll like get on my computer and hopefully start to fall asleep. And like that'll get me, you know, ready and drowsy to go to bed. And I left my TV on. I woke up to go to the bathroom, and as I walk into the bathroom, I see Kenny. And like these panties grinding on this woman, telling her that he was a stripper. It was the most awkward, <laughs> just thinking about it. It was so awkward. I was like, what the hell is this? And I saved it. So what I'll do is when I'm done with this video, I'll add it into, uh, I'll add it into the edit so you guys can see this cringe-worthy video of Kenny stripping. As long as he leaves that stripping at home and don't bring it to paradise, I think he'll do well. And listen, we love that you love your daughter. Please don't come on this show crying over her, Kenny. We don't want that. Oh, if you're trying to get a woman, we need to see you have fun, not grind them hips and not cry about your daughter. And for the love of God, chapstick, baby, chapstick. Kevin, Hercules is on this season. After you done broke Ashley's heart and I hope she didn't give you her innocence. You are not worthy. I told y'all it was too soon for them. He did not seem like the one. Ashley was pursuing him. And it was just, I don't know. I didn't feel like, and I'm not saying that a woman shouldn't pursue a man. You know what I mean? It's 2018. Going out and get it, ladies. But it was, she was so obsessed over him. And it just, in my opinion, in my opinion, wasn't reciprocated. So um, I'm not surprised that they broke up at all and then he's on this show looking for love right after that 
I'm so glad that Ashley is going to come to Paradise with her man and get engaged in your face, bro. This is going to be some good TV. Bachelor in Paradise is going to be some good TV. I cannot wait. So then we have Krista on this season. I want to know if she's going to keep her raspy voice or her raspy baby voice or if she's going to be like, you know, with that hard, deep smoker voice that she has. I don't know which one she's going to use. But if anything, I see her hooking up with Kevin first. And I'm talking about black hooking up. I'm not talking about white hooking up. I've learned that hooking up to white people means sex. That's not what it means in the black community. We talk about kissing, maybe a little grinding. I see something like that happening with them too. But I don't think it'll last. What do you guys think? Let me know. Nick is on this season. He better bring some sunblock because his skin don't look like he can handle that sun. Not even Jordan. In Jordan's pictures, he looked real red. So y'all, y'all better use wisdom. Bring the proper sunblock. Nick, I can see Nick getting into it with the guys, like being messy. He seems like he has a mouth and I can see him being a problem. But it'll be good TV, but I don't see him having a love connection in paradise. But it's early. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched an episode of this show. It still hasn't been put out, and I'm still not through the list of characters. Let's keep going. Nasha Nor Na wait, Nasha Norris was on Ari season? I don't remember her. Girl, you better go home with John, because I feel like Kendall is a good match for him. But listen, if you're trying to secure the bag, grind up on John and leave home with Venmo. Do what you got to do. Tia is on this season. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Why is Wells always available to be the bartender? I just, is Wells not doing anything else? Why is he always available to be the bartender in Paradise and then like give kisses to women who don't get picked? But I'm glad that, um, what's her name? Yuki. I'm glad that Yuki is on there. What if Yuki and Wells get together? Hmm. Who knows? I think the bartender position in Paradise is for people within the Bachelor Nation community that the bachelor producers are trying to make a personality so that they can put them on other shows so now that i think about it it's probably good that they keep on calling wells back for bartending and now yuri because they're looking at you for other things not necessarily a love or dating show maybe hosting you know what i mean so it's good it's good they're looking at you for other job opportunities so you know what you yuri and uh wells get your coin i ain't hating build your resume because the bachelor nation is looking at you well, that's the end of the list they said that they will so that's the end of the list. They said that they will reveal more cast members at a later date. So I'll do this again when they reveal more characters. But so far, I am really hyped for Bachelor in Paradise. I think they got a good cast thus far. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. We all know that Colton is going to be there. Messy Colton and Messy Tia. So um, we will definitely be looking at them with a side eye because we know the scam that they are running on Becca. But um, I'm interested to see who else will be there. And I am hella hyped for this season of Bachelor in Paradise. Let me know what you think of the characters that have been revealed so far. Who do you think is going to, you know, make the season and who can you do without? Let us just know in the comment section below. See you soon, guys. Bye.